If you're a lover of fantasy, perhaps you won't have trouble remembering the somewhat unusual names in this story. After all, is Edge Theo that much stranger than Aragorn from Lord of the Rings? Thankfully for the rest of us, there are a few tricks that will help you keep Beowulf's characters straight. There are exceptions to every rule, but here are a few rules when it comes to Beowulf's cast. Rule number one, the cast can mostly be divided into three categories, the Danes, the Geats, and the monsters. The monsters are straightforward enough, Grendel, Grendel's mother, and the dragon. The Danes, well, that leads me to rule number two. Almost every Dane's name combines the letter R with a vowel, mostly E's and O's. Rothgar, Rethric, even Unferth. The exceptions to this are the famous Danish king Shield Schiefsen, from whom Hrothgar is descended, and King Hrethel, who, just to confuse you, happens to be a Geat. Speaking of the Geats, here's rule number three. Almost every Geat name contains the letter G. Helok, Wilof, Edgtheo. Beowulf, of course, is the glaring exception to this rule, and we'll be talking more about him and the other important cast members in the next recap.